Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a video on DIY face mask using fat quarter material, which is just quilting fabric, 100% cotton. We're going to add eight, one, eighth inch, one eighth inch elastic to the sides and a nose wire in there. This is just going to be the simple pleated kind. Um, I might do something in the future doing a different kind, but that just kind of depends on the time. This is just going to be a pleated this time. All right, so what is a fat quarter? A fat quarter is usually 22 inches wide by 18 inches high. That is how much a fat quarter should be. And most places will try to reach that goal, but I've found that they vary. It depends, and it doesn't even depend on who you buy it from. They can vary in their own store. So I have this stack of... Um, uh, fat quarters that I have laid out and I've ironed and stuff and at the top of it you'll see you can already see that they're none they're not exactly the same size even on top of each other just like that and then um, I wrote on the top I went ahead and measured just to see for myself and the top one is 17 by 20 and the one underneath it is 17 by 25 or you know 17 and a quarter by 21 inches and then the Mickey Minnie Mouse one underneath it is even bigger. So it just varies every single time. So this is going to, what we're going to do today is we're going to do four different sizes. And instead of just cutting it in fours like I did in the previous video, we're going to be precise with it. The first one's going to be eight by 10. The second one's going to be seven and a half by nine. The third one is seven and a half by, or seven by eight. And then six and a half by seven is the smallest one. So we're going to have from the small, medium, large to extra large. And like I said, I'll put links underneath, but you're going to want your, you're going to want six inch pieces of one eighth inch elastic. And um, this is going to, I'm going to show you how it's going to make it reversible. You're going to be able to use two different sizes. So if you want two different colors of your, um, on your mask, go ahead and use two different fat quarters. Okay. Face to face, like face to face so that the, the, the printed sides are inside. Okay. So that, I, that was a, a picture showing you that we needed to fold it in half. And then when you unfold it, it's going to show you kind of this little tiny crease on top of that crease. We're going to take our, um, our nose wire, and we're going to fold that nose wire in half so we know where the middle of the nose wire is as well. And then we're going to take the nose wire and we're going to just set it down on top of um, the fabric. And those are a little, these pictures are on here just a little bit longer than they need to be. So we're going to set it on top of the fabric and um, place it right in the middle. And then we're going to hold it down with one hand, and with the other hand, we're just going to mark gently on each side and we want it to be about a half an inch long and you can make a little mark now and then go in with your ruler and make it a complete half inch and this is going to be like the, the sides to the pocket that this nose wire is going to sit in before I watch the video and I'll, I'll include a link to the video that I watched before I watched that video I couldn't conceptualize how this was going to work and so Whenever I watched this other person's video, I was like, oh, okay. So now I'll show you how it's done. Hold on one second. All right, friends. So I sewed two of them already, the extra large, the large, and then I went ahead and um, got this one ready. I, I, including the lines that I did on the side, I just went ahead and did a line across so I'd know where to stop over here at the edge. And so now we're just gonna sew down that little half inch little spot. And then we're gonna lift up our press her foot and turn and then we're going to sew it to the almost to the end okay and you can go back a couple I just need to go back one and then we're going to turn it again readjust our our little pattern and we're going to grab a piece of elastic the 1 8 inch elastic it's a 6 inch piece all of my pieces are 6 inches Okay, so we put that in there and it's just like a half, a quarter of an inch out of the back side of that. And then we're going to sew over it and we're going to sew all the way down this line 
almost to the bottom. About right there. We'll stop. We're going to reach inside and we're going to grab that, that piece and we're going to pull it over here and kind of slide it in there. Okay. And then put it back together. Okay, and we're going to sew it in there and then we're going to turn the whole shebang. Okay, so that's our one side. And this is how it makes it reversible if we sew it inside. You're perfectly welcome to wait and sew it at the end. But if you do this sewing inside, you'll be able to make your mask reversible. So I know it's not about fashion, but you'll have two looks. And it also helps if you don't want to put the same side on that was on the outside. You don't want to put that same side on. So it helps you distinguish which side is the correct one. So now we're just going to sew across the bottom and um, we don't have to stop. We just stop shy of the end, I guess. Now we're going to lift the press of foot again and turn again. But this time we're going to open it back up. We're going to take our other piece of 1 8 inch elastic. We're going to slide it right in here, leaving like a quarter of an inch on the outside. Fold it back over it. Get everything lined back up. Get your corners and your edges. Press your foot down and sew over it and then sew down the edge. Almost to that line. Remember the line I told you we made? I made. And we're going to go in there, grab the rest of that piece of elastic, pull it through to where there's like a quarter. Can you hear my rooster? He's so cute. And then you just sew onto that and then sew down that same line. I have to move my just teensy over. We're going to sew it till we reach that corner. Turn again. And then sew up that first mark we made for the nose wire. Okay, so what this is going to do, super excited, let me move you real quick so you can see everything. Thanks for being patient and I'm really sorry that messes with you sensorily. Okay, so now we have our little, basically a little pouch and we have our uh, elastic already sewn in. So we're going to open this up and we're going to pull everything through. Okay. And then I'm going to take pictures in the middle and then I'll be back to show you how to sew the rest of this, okay? Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's all twisted inside out. And one of the things I wanted to mention is do not pull on that elastic. It's not really sewn in there very good yet. You just kind of want to... Um, you want to hold the end of the corner and you want to take a pen or your stylus or something that has kind of a nice soft rounded end and you want to push that gently into the end. You want to make that corner nice and sharp with the end of a, a, a different instrument. Don't pull on your, your elastic. The elastic isn't really sewn in there very well. It's only sewn in with one stitch over it so it can it, it's easily pull outable. So you just want to make sure that you get it in there nice and crisp and um, using a different tool, you'll be able to get it to look like that, and then you won't be able, you won't have to pull it at all. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put it up onto the machine with the nose wire part, the opening, lengthwise or longwise or towards you. <laughs> I'm not a professional, so I don't know all the wordings and all that stuff and. I know I should at this point, but come on. Okay, so you want to make sure that your your pouch, your little case, is all lined up and nice. 
and then you want to go your half inch down so you want to be able to have a little bit of this right on the edge okay that'll give you enough room to put in your your nose wire as well as um, uh, sew around it Okay, so what we did there with that sewing that bottom part first was we created ourselves a little pouch that also has um, stoppers at the edge. So now we can put in our piece and it's not going to go to that end and it's not going to go to that end. It stays right there in the middle. Okay, and now we're going to go back to the machine and just kind of like a stitch in the ditch kind of thing. So really close to the edge, so making sure you're getting both sides in there. And then I like to do it a couple times just for to make sure it's durable. But you don't have to do that, especially if it's not one you're going to be using a lot. But I'm going to be selling these. And so I want them to work really good. Okay, so now that we've got it to this point, we've got our nose wire in. I'm just going to sew around the edges to make it look really nice. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I've got it all sewn in and I've got all my edges sewn down. Just kind of, it also, you know, kind of helps everything flatten whenever you sew the edges. So now the nose wire is usable. It's malleable. It's great. And it's nice and in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the pleating. What I like to do is just kind of grab this very top one, pull it down, and then take a bottom piece, sorry about the angle, take the bottom piece and kind of shove it up. And that gives me, I mean, you have to adjust it a little bit sometimes, and I will adjust it more before I sew it, but that kind of gives you a guideline of where to go, you know, just doing three pleats. So I want that, and, and also if you line it up with your stitches here, like if you fold and then do your next fold and then line your stitches up and then sew it like that, that's what gives you your, your best pleats without, you know, having too much craziness looking. Like I am not that good, but I do my best. <laughs> I do my best and my best is usually Good enough but that's not what I was getting at what I'm getting at is um, it's not gonna be perfect usually unless you are really good I'm not really good I'm just doing my best and that's why they'll turn out just look like they're handmade like they are okay, oops. okay now so we have our pleat I went down one side and up the other. So now let's do that same thing on the other side. I know you guys can't see it, but I don't want to keep moving the camera around. I think that you can tell what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so on here. Now let's line up our stitches as best we can. Okay. And we flip it. Okay, and there we go. It's all done. This one is the smallest version. I did a large, what did I do? I did an extra large, 
a large, and then a small, and then the medium one, I'm actually going to do vinyl on, and that's going to be my next video um, as soon as I get this one all done and uploaded. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope that you found it easy. Um, yeah, there's, oh, oh, I'll link the original video that I found this on, that I found out how to do this on. I'll link that video so that if you need more context, um, you can go watch her video as well. I, I think I would suggest it anyways, since she's the one who taught me how to do it. All right, I hope that this is helpful, and um, I hope you guys are being safe.